Hey guys, it's Adam here with the Maine Relic Hunters back again. And this time we are in a field. And yes, this field may look familiar because I've done, I think, two episodes from here. And the reason being is because there's a cellar hole right there that's been plowed in. But this is a field where I have found two farthings, some shoe buckle pieces. My silver spoon was from this field and many other good things. So. I've never been on this side because I've never been here when it's been hayed. So we're going to try to work the downhill side from the cellar hole and see if we can't find anything. I've already been bit six times by horse flies. It's hot. And thankfully, there's a breeze. I got my sun hat on. So without further ado, let's go. So first signal is a, well, it's a mid-tone, but it's a choppiness. One way it was hitting 61 to 71, the other way it was 30s, 40s. Uh, but I was getting solid contact and I'm not really one to skip a tone or to skip a signal just because, because uh, you just never know. And this is, I always find a good sign. First hole, piece of pottery in it. So that's good, I've only walked about, I don't know if it's in the plug or, oops, I think I just tooted. That's embarrassing. Oh, right there. Look at that. First hole. Big old dandy button. You can see the shank on it. <laughs> That's why I dig it. That's a tombag. It's a tombag. Broken tombag. Oh, it has some fancy too on it. Ooh, let me clean this up real quick. See if I can't get all that detail off. That's a heck of a good start right there. Oh, 1700s button. Let's clean her up. Well, I apologize for the wind. I'll try and block it out, but look at the beautiness on this tombag. I think I've only dug maybe one, maybe two, with a design on it, a tombag, and it makes me super sad that this one has such a beautiful design and it's broken. But it's got the majority of it. I still recovered it, and this will display nicely. Let's see. Well, it's been slow. I've only dug maybe four targets the first 35, 40 minutes, but I got a very faint sound. I didn't even really recognize the VDI. It was just all over, but it sounded tingy like it could be good. And I popped the plug, got him, so out of breath. And it was deep. And it just came out, and it's right on edge. I'm not saying it's a coin. It might be a button, but this is probably why that it wasn't ringing very loudly. If I can get it into the screen, where is it? Right there. So let's see together if that's a coin or a button. Oh, whatever it is, it's fancy. It's got a shield on it and it's a button. What is this? Full shank, little flat button, on edge, just a little squeaker. Oh boy, I hope that cleans up well. Let me take a second and just lightly get off my horse foot and uh, see if I can't clean this just a little bit and come, come right back. All right, let's go. So I didn't go too much with the brush. I didn't want to clean off any type of details there may have been or are still, but she's fancy. This might be one of the fanciest flat buttons I've ever found. So, all right, well, let's see if we can't find some more of this goodness like this. Let's go, nice. Where these relics are spread out today. This is only my third relic. I've dug maybe 20 holes. I've cleaned it off already once and you can see it, it is a harmonica reed. Nothing great, but hey, it's a sign of life. It's a sign of something that was out here, right? So, all right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more good stuff. All right, so I got a great signal. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and live dig it. Even though I've learned I shouldn't, but this one just sounds so good. And uh, let's see. 
79 that way. 80, 77 that way. This is four inches. And we're gonna try and do this with one hand. This is, that's just how I roll. Oh, come on, baby. I'm gonna try and be fast. Try and be fast. You know, like the flash. Breathing hard because it's 84 degrees outside. I'm sweating to death. Dehydrated. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Be something good for me. No bazingas, no bazingas. And it's not, it's not, I heard it, I felt it. It's a, oh, it's a bell. Hey, I'll take a bell. I felt it and I was like, that's not a coin, but a bell, I'll take a bell. I'm not sure what type of bell this is. This is, I don't believe this is a Constoga bell, so maybe a bike bell, maybe, I don't know. It's got no dinger. I'm not sure how old this is, but. I'll take it. it. Looks like it's made of tombac or something, but don't know. But let's keep going. Nice. I'll take her. Another decent signal, 76. Haven't dug one of these in a while. Let's see how many of you know what an ox knob looks like. Huh? Pretty full of junk -ola. He's right on the horns of an old ox. They have bigger kahunas than I do to do it, that's for sure. Let's go. Nice. All right, guys. So we did a uh, wardrobe change and a location change. We have moved from the field to the yard. Uh, this is my third hole. The house is 1700s. I'm not sure what year. But anyway, uh, third signal in the yard, and it's an old spoon. It's all there. Oh, and it's got some fancy. It might be plated. I don't know. It was well. I don't think it is because it was ringing up a fifty. So I'll take that. This little design there. If I can get that to focus, focus, focus. There we go. And Maker's Mark says. I don't know. Standard. Sound right, standard A1, something like that. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Not sure I've ever dug one of these. A full brass shotgun shell. Can't remember if I have. If I have, maybe just one. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah, because there's the firing pin. So my first or second full brass shotgun casing. So all right. Nice. Let's go. Thought we were going to have our first coin. It was 79, 78, 79, 80. And what we have is a brass buckle, brass T buckle. I'll take it. Not very deep, but it was underneath the root. I had to push it up from underneath. So I'll take it. We're getting closer and closer to the house. Starting to get into the iron. Let's go, pro. Show me what you got. All right, well, whatever we found is big and round. It's not a coin, I don't think. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> is this one of those heart rosettes? Look, what is this? I don't know what this is, but I love it. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Please let me know what this is.
just had an 81, 83 signal. It sounded great. Pull out a piece of wire. I was like, that can't be it. Started moving the pin pointer. Flopped over a piece of dirt. And I got a big old something round. I'm thinking it's going to be a token. Just because of the size of it. Got a horse. Somebody riding a horse. I can see that so far. Oh my god, I finally got one! Woo! All right, nice. I got a good luck token, or I think that's what these were. Nice. Oh my god, you know, seeing the symbol, I hate to say it's beautiful, but it's a beautiful, beautiful coin or, or token here. Hopefully this will clean up well and we can get some good details off it. Nice. This day just got better and better. I should have started with the yard in the first place, I guess. Goodness. Why sweat in the field? All right, let's go, baby. Let's see if we can find some more good stuff. Nice. Sweet. Let's go. I think we've got the first coin of the day. It was an 82. We're at the base of this tree, close to the house. Um, by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be some sort of penny. And it is, it's a weedy. It is a weedy, in fact. Looks like 19 something something. Definitely weedy. All right, let's go. Hi right, guys, I am finally done. I've been out for about another four or five hours today and it was a pretty good day. A uh, lot of garbage, as you can tell. This was mostly from the house. This was mostly from the field. I know I'm in the field because I always find these in this field. But, so we found two matchbox cars. Uh, brass casing, here's my clad. Uh, well, actually, this is a weedy, but I found 35 cents clad in a weedy. Got the spoon. I know what this is. I just can't remember what it's called. Um, to start off my day, I found these beautiful buttons. Here's the beautiful half tom back, and here's the beautiful flat button with the amazing designs. Look at those bad boys. Those are awesome. Harmonica reed found in two pieces. A uh, piece of pottery. A beautiful bell. I'll clean that up. Make it look good. Box knob. And I'm, and I'm torn between the two. Which one I love more. But I think I actually like this more. But the token. You can't go wrong with this token. Guy on the horse. I forget. I think this is some sort of Canadian bank token. I haven't tried to read the writing yet or anything like that. But um, oh yeah, it says good luck right at the top. Um, so yeah, it's a beauty. It's in good shape. And I'm very happy. And then of course, my heart rosette. I'm pretty sure that's a rosette. So fantastic, great day, all in all. I am happy, junk and everything. But so, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, Main Relic Hunters. Let's go.